guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. Alright, look. I just woke up prematurely from a nap. And I decided, let me shit on some Cowboy fans, man. Look, I got to tell y'all, y'all ain't shit. You got going home in the first round. I just want y'all to know that. I just want y'all to know that. Like, I got to do my weekly Cowboy reality check. Micah Parsons is talking spicy this week. Micah, you can't do that to the 49ers. You can't do that to San Fran. Lamar can do that to San Fran. Joe Burrow can do that to San Fran. Cleveland can do that to San Fran. Hell, even Kirk Cousins can do that to San Fran. You can't. I'm going to need Michael to know his role. Shut his mouth. All right, Michael, please shut up. You know, just, just shut up. All right, now, I just got to say something. Cowboy fans, like, at what point does, what, at what point does it set in? At what point does it set in? You know, as a Yankee fan, right? You know, as a Yankee fan, it's the best example I can give you. As a Yankee fan, sometime around the end of September, it sets in that my season about to be over. Like, I, I know I'm not going to beat the Astros. Somewhere around the time... September, end of September come around, and I see the Astros getting hot. And I see where the Astros are in the standings, and I look at the Yankees, and I say, well, yeah, we'll beat Tampa or something like that. We Then we're going to lose to the Astros. We're not going to beat the Astros. It's like, I know it's coming. As a Yankee fan, I know I'm not going to beat the Astros. It could be the second round, or it could be in the conference championship. I know it's coming. The L is coming. At what point as a Cowboy fan do you say, damn, Christmas is over. <laughs> it's almost New Year's. That 49 L is coming. At what point is a, it, it, you know the 49 L is coming, Cowboy fans. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know y'all not coming out the NFC. You know Dak is not like that. You know Jerry Jones is not like that. You know Mike McCarthy is not like that. You, It's the same team that lost last year. This is the same team that, that lost the year before that with the QB sneaker, the QB Neal, whatever dumb stuff Dak did at home. They beat you in Dallas. They beat you in San Fran. It don't matter. They're going to beat you. At what point, as a Cowboy fan, do you say, it's over? Like it's almost over. Like you, that 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 bad feeling you get in your stomach when you root for a team and you know the end is near. I don't understand the the the, the mentality of a cowboy fan. Right? It's like you do the same things over and over and over and over again, and you expect a different result. You kept Jason Garrett and Tony Romo together for years and never got a good result. You kept Jason Garrett, Mr. 8-8, eight and eight, with Dak for years and never got a different result. Now you have Mike McCarthy with Dak for years and you never get a different result. It's like Jerry Jones is too patient. Normally when you got the billionaire owner, like Jerry Jones, like you think of the Steinburners. You know, you think of that when you think you think of Mark Cubans and stuff like that. You think of like the impatient owner that fires coaches, replaces stars that's mad aggressive. Jerry Jones moved like a dollar store owner. He moved like he broke. He never signs big free agents. What about Bobby Wagner? What about Earl Thomas? Supposed to get Odell. He's cheap. He never signs big agents. He made Zach Martin wait. He made Dak wait. He always makes his stars wait for money. And he gives coaches, bum coaches, the longest leashes I've ever seen in my life. Jason Garrett should have been fired. He should have been fired Mike McCarthy. But he keep him around. Jerry Jones operate like a mom and pop shop, bro. As a Cowboy fan, you just can't inspire hope. It can't. 
as a cowboy fan, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to put on this cowboy hat. I'm going to put on this cowboy jersey. And, what, and, and I'm going to go tell other people that this the year we're going to the Super Bowl. Shut the hell up, you not. And you know that. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to me. I'm tired of it. I want cowboy fans to take accountability and say we ain't shit. The same negative mentality that a Browns fan has, a Lions fans have. I want cowboy fans to have that same negative something gonna go wrong mentality because that, that's what y'all are. Y'all not a winner. I'm a winner. Hell, even when my Giants get into the playoffs, we expect to go to Super Bowls. We be like, damn, we did it in 07. Damn, we did it in 2011. Giants fans, we really thought we could beat the Eagles last year. We may have been dumb for thinking it, but we thought it because we have a track record of getting hot in the playoffs and making runs. As a Cowboy fan, you have a track record of folding like hot laundry come playoff time. That's just them just bees the breaks. And then you had this Dak Prescott for MVP campaign. That was phony. That was faker than a damn mirage in the middle of the desert. When I saw Dak Prescott MVP odds because he beat up on a bunch of bum teams at home, I said, bro, that's a big titty Puerto Rican and a tall glass of milk in the middle of the desert. It's a mirage. It ain't real. He's never winning MVP. He's not like that. Cowboy fans, I'm going to say it again in case you haven't got the memo of this video. Y'all not like that. I woke up at 11 o'clock. It's 11.05. I normally sleep from 7 to 12 and go to the gym at 1 in the morning. But it's Friday and Planet Fitness ain't open at 1 in the morning on Friday. So I'm I like, I woke up early. I'm cranky, and, and I just felt like I needed to give somebody a reality check. All right? I'm saving lives out here. I could have threw you in the fire range. I could have been a bully and made fun of somebody. But instead, I woke up out my neck to, to tell Cowboy fans that you're not like that. So stop getting excited. Stop buying playoff tickets. Stop talking about Super Bowl. Stop making traveling uh, packages. Stop doing all that stuff. You're going home in the first round. If that. But anyway. That's it. That's all. Throw those FUs in my chat. If you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas. And I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs>